Hello Everybody, this is out of the box unboxing and today's uh, episode I have a big mess Big mess because I have uh, Take out out of the box uh, a Working table working uh, workbench uh, from Parkside available at Lidl and really I, I was thinking about uh, assembling it and, and checking it but when I saw uh, how it is made I decided to not do it because overall my impression is already quite um, I would say not positive but okay for so, so, some basic information about, uh, about this uh, so it, it has a uh, chucking range of maximum uh, 235 millimeters clamping range approximately 85 dimensions overall uh, it's as well in millimeters wide um, 605 height it's uh, 790 and uh, deep it's a uh, 600 30 millimeters so not so big I would say max uh, load capacity is 150 kg so let's say a quite decent adult uh, guy can sit on it and it, it should not break uh, folded I mean folded diameters so this mess what you can see here it has a sorry actually assembled fold um, uh, folded um, dimension it will be since 605 millimeters for uh, 945 and 155 in depth so why I have lost my um, motivation to assemble it because I thought it would be made out of wood but it isn't it's just uh, leftovers after some woodworks it's glued together by using some adhesives and this it's not even it's it's a sticker it's the the, the, the the quality is so low that even the you will see here even when they were cutting it it they were not using I mean sharp enough blades so I lost my motivation because I thought it will be made out of wood so okay uh, it, it has to be workbench, but you know what's gonna happen? This type of uh, I don't know how to call it, but IKEA is uh, using it quite often. If it gets a little bit of moisture, it starts um, uh, growing, popping, inflating, uh, and you will have a mess all over the place. And because it's a uh, Actually, it's not a real wood. It's a wood pattern, and it's a sticker. Uh, I've lost my motivation completely. Uh, I can understand that uh, all those steel parts are, are are a little bit flimsy. Like the, okay, this this one is actually quite rigid, but for instance here, it's a little bit flimsy. But I know that the stiffness it's uh, it's it's achieved when you are when you assemble it. So everything is put it in place. So then it's 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 rigid and it should be super stable. But uh, I don't believe it will be rigid as I would like to be. So yeah, sorry for that. But I think workbench should be uh, made a little bit better. And I would expect to have here a real wood not uh, some kind of uh, artificial thing which is um, which will not perform a working bench need to work not to to look nicely and uh, collect dust in corner of your garage or working place so please forgive me but i will not uh, continue to assemble it i do believe it will look quite nice but I think it's not the I think the intended use it's not for this particular um, appliance so no no and again no uh, 
sorry. On the plus side you have a scale here, centimeters and inches. So you are ending up with a 60 centimeters and 23 something inches. You have an angle here. Mm, what else? That's it actually. And all the marketing blah 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 that you will find on the um, box. It's nothing because, sorry to say that again, to repeating myself, this should be made out of uh, uh, either wood or some other material that will not, uh, uh, that would be uh, more robust, not this type. Okay, sorry, thank you for, uh, for your attention and please share me with me your experience if you have bought it. And if you are, let's say, not agreeing with my judgment, because it's not a real test, it's a just my gut feeling about it. And uh, based on the first impression, I will give it back to, to Lee. Please share with, with me your, your comments, your experience, and as well help others to, to, to make a wise choice. Thank you again. Take care. Bye.